Today, I'm going to be talking about what to do on Valentine's Day if you have someone to spend it with. Number one, first thing to do that's super duper fun um, and can be inexpensive considering a lot of people spend a shit ton of money on Valentine's Day, and that is Concerts. Concerts are always really, really, really fun. The good thing about concerts is I feel like even if you have shitty seats, they're fun anyway. You know what I mean? Like, especially now, most of the, you know, places where concerts are held are in area, are in what, whatever it's called, like arenas where the seats are cascading. So you're gonna be able to see, you know, the artist no matter what. You can get seats for relatively cheap, depending on if you get them early enough. And if you can find something that you and your significant other both really like, concerts are a super duper good idea. Next is the classic, and the classic is the dinner and a movie. And this is just a really good idea if both of you aren't really into like going out and big crowds and stuff like that. You know, a lot of times I've actually known couples that have gone to like clubs on Valentine's Day and parties and that's cool, but a lot of people aren't into that, you know what I mean? So they could do, you know, just the classic dinner and a movie. You know what's really fun is to go to the place where you guys have your first date. Almost all first dates, I feel like, you know, include dinner somewhere. Um, so it'd be really, really cute for you guys to maybe go to the place where you had your first dinner and then afterwards, you know, check out a movie or something like that. Now on the complete opposite spectrum, let's say you are very, very homebodies. You know what I mean? Like concerts and parties, if you're really into going out, dinner and a movie, if you're kind of in the middle, if you're super, super, homebodies rent a movie get takeout from your favorite place and make out i mean that sounds really like probably my favorite out of all of them if you do want to go out somewhere you could even do something like you know a longer night if you want you could like go bowling you know do something where it really involves the two of you and there's not that many people around you could like go bowling and then go home watch a movie cuddle down with some Chicken marsala. You don't have to have chicken marsala. It's just an option. Anyways, gifts. Gifts are always really hard, I feel like. Because Valentine's Day, it's like birthday and Christmas. You know what I mean? You kind of go all out with gifts. But when it comes to Valentine's Day, it's like, well, do I just get them a box of chocolate? You know, do I get her something a little bit more serious? It's kind of hard to... I just burped. It's kind of hard to be like, you know, what do I get? A lot of times, and I know I've said this before, baskets. I love baskets. Get a basket from like Home Goods or Target, like a wicker basket, and put a bunch of shit in it. Their favorite candies, a book you think that they might like, you know, some cool t-shirts, maybe some memorabilia from their favorite show or their favorite band. Get them a couple nice shirts if they've been looking for a jacket, if they need some kind of clothing, if they're a horrible dresser. Guys, this really isn't for you. This is more for you girls who are watching. Guys, have problems dressing themselves. A lot of times, you know, you're gonna go out somewhere and they walk out and they're wearing like a t-shirt from the LeBron store and basketball shorts and slides. And it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like guys are always complaining that girls are like, they're like, why are you wearing yoga pants? You're not even doing yoga. Coming from the guy who's wearing basketball shorts and is not currently on a basketball court, why don't you calm your ass down? I got a bun, so I'm gonna be moving my head a lot today. And then I also wanna talk about 5-4 clothing because this is a really great place for girls who find clothes for guys, or for guys, if you're not really good at picking out clothes, this is a great service, really, really well-made stuff. I mean, can we just talk about this super cool, like, quilted button-down, you can kind of wear it as a jacket or a button-down, which is great, especially for weather here, where it can be, like, chilly, but then hot sometimes. Um, you know what I mean? If you're more into just, like, casual stuff, long sleeve t-shirts, this is exactly the kind of stuff that I like to see guys in, where they're not going overboard you know what i mean like it looks good they look like they're not trying too hard you guys know i've talked about this company before because they're super awesome well-made stuff and the cool thing about it is they actually used to be in nordstrom and now they're a company where it's members only and every month 60 dollars a month you get like 120 dollars worth of clothes on your doorstep like are you kidding? $120 worth of clothes just on my doorstep every month and then I'm like good to go for the rest of the time. It's pretty cool and something else cool about it is you actually get a personal stylist. Um, so you kind of fill up the kind of stuff you're looking for and if you're the kind of person who's always wearing a t-shirt and jeans, they're not going to be sending you, you know, dress pants and button downs because you've already told them, you know, that's not really your style. So you're going to get things more tailored to you which is super cool. Sweatpants, which I'm actually really liking for guys right now. Um, I know that I was just talking about how guys dress too casual, but what I like about sweatpants is they're comfortable. Guys love comfort, but they can be dressed up. You know, you know, you can wear like cool, like nice sweatpants like this, and then rock it with like a button down, and you're super, super comfortable, but you're also looking flat. And then if you see something on their actual website that you like, if you're a member, you're gonna get 25% off every week. And I know it's just a lot of casual stuff, but for all you Dapper guys, or for you girls who want your guys to dress, 
you know, a little more Scott Disick-like. Not his personality, obviously, but you know what I mean? They do have button downs and really nice stuff, so check them out! Girls, this is what you need to be doing is for Valentine's Day, get your guy nice clothes. If you want to see him in nice clothes, you can't just be like, go out and buy a bunch of clothes and spend a lot of money. You gotta help him out, you know what I mean? So go get him some nice stuff. Guys, maybe your girlfriend is always complaining about how you dress. The best gift you can get her is looking good, trust me. If a girl has like a nice looking guy in her arm, she's happy. Get her a box of chocolates and be like, look how I'm dressed. Bam! Anyways, I hope you guys have a super duper amazing Valentine's Day. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what you are doing for Valentine's Day. Are you single? Are you with someone? How are you gonna dress? What are you gonna do? Comment below and let me know. Don't forget to check out Five More Clothing. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye! With Melina executed, Tanya's dreams of a free Edenia seemed dead as well. She and the other rebels were fugitives from Kotal Khan's justice. Her fellow Edenian, Rey, had proved a powerful ally and a satisfactory consort, but he had become useless to her. In exchange for leniency, Tanya informed the Khan of Rey's whereabouts. Imprisoned, but alive, Tanya's plotting began anew.